faces of happy children. A farmer working on his farmland and traders loading fruit onto a waiting truck for delivery to other parts of the country. These are some of the pictures showing what is now becoming the daily norm in a state that has been ravaged by Boko Haram. The images are the works of acclaimed Nigerian photographer Fatih Abubakar and the Borno State Government is collaborating with the Center for Arts and Creative Talents to hold this exhibition tagged bruised but not broken to let the world know that Borno once blighted by Boko Haram, is rising again. The community has a lot going for it, and they stand defiant in what they're doing. And that's what Fatih wanted to show. The way the people of the state have come out and said, we are not going to be broken. We may be hurt, we may, we may have been brought down, but we will come back up again and we will stand for what we believe in. So what we want to achieve with this is to impact the narrative coming from the Northeast that life is changing. The, I mean, the, the, the common citizens, the ordinary citizens are struggling in the face of uh, ga, ga insurgency that any moment, I mean, the reality or the prevailing reality is any moment you could bomb can just get up and you'll die. But still, people are resilient, people are showing courage, people are, are taking back control of their lives uh, in, the, in the Northeast. Borno is one of three northeast states worst affected by the Boko Haram insurgency. Years of attacks by Boko Haram militants left the state deserted and in turmoil. But the Nigerian army has in the past year pushed the terrorists out of the state. The photographs on display here, recently taken from different parts of Borno, are clear demonstrations that the situation in the state is not all doom and gloom and that normal life is fast returning as depicted in this picture of a local fisherman casting his net, or these kids just having fun in their sunglasses. And whether it's just posing and smiling for a camera, the pictures show of people who may have been bitten, but are definitely moving on with life despite that. We are not doing an exhibition to say this is the first and rule or this is the final, no. It's just a bit, a tiny bit of our contribution to the greater conversations on the Northeast. This is just a small bit of it. There are concerns on security, they are very, very real. There are concerns on infrastructural development, they are very, very real. Infrastructural renewal, there are concerns on even community attitude, behavior, they are very, very real. There are concerns of hunger, they are very, very real. But the attitude in the face of all these challenges is what we are trying to portray. The same picture is worth a thousand words. The organizers would hope the pictures would have the desired effect. They're planning to take the exhibition to other parts of the country in the coming months to drum up the message that life is indeed returning to normal in a state which ironically goes by the nickname Home of Peace. Dejibadmo, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.